Right. Okay. Well, let's just place these two. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Did you see what he just did right there? Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Insane Robots. Insane Robots is a one versus one card battling game and we're gonna start with the prologue. So welcome, and you won't remember this conversation. Thank you for volunteering. You're a hero. Uh, volunteering for what? What won't I remember? Who are you? What's going on? They're coming. Gotta go. I don't remember anything. What am I supposed to do now? Attention, Franklin Class Robot. Scan indicates your program is defective. Do you mean me? I... I can't remember. Memory failure indicates insanity. Prepare to be subdued. I think that means killed. Anyway, let's do this. You must defeat the sentries. Click and drag to find them. Alright. So we can... Uh, there you go, there's one. Oh no, there are two of them. There's actually two of them, not just one. So this game has kind of like an overworld to it, where you can decide which enemies you want to attack. Now, of course, this is just the first level, but in levels coming up, you can go around a very, very large map and decide which powerful robots you want to attack. And these robots can attack others as well, so it's not just you that they are wanting to kill. They will attack other people too, and that will then mean that they will gain power levels, as well as you gaining levels at the same time. And eventually you're gonna then meet each other in an overall, overall crazy battle and it's gonna be extremely awesome. Anyway, ex chefbot who dreamt of fame, that's who we're playing as right now. So, as you can see, we're starting with a couple of cards that are in the shape of batteries and indeed energy. And as you can see here, we're going to try and get some attack going on. You have a limited amount of that each turn, each time you get that, up to a maximum of six. So yeah, right now we can only do one that used one of those. See, so we can only attach one of these per turn until, you know, it, you know those classic card games where you gain one mana and then two mana and then three mana or so, so on and so forth. This is more like energy. And so, fill your second attack slot to complete your attack circuit before the sentry completes theirs. And so, we can do this. Your attack circuit is complete. Your attack strength is 10. Thanks to the, you know, to the fact that our batteries are full at the moment. If I had placed one of these other batteries on here, then I would have had less attack strength. And then we can obviously draw another token if we want to. And then we can go to the next turn. Now let's see if he's gonna... Oh no, he's yeah, he's completing his attack as well, but that's okay, because we have ours. Attack it quickly. Yes, let us attack. Well, we did a huge amount of overkill damage, and as you can see, if you do overkill damage, you gain additional bolts. I, I can assume that they are bolts, at least. Alright, so now we want to move on to the next area here. Unfortunately, I can't do that just yet. I need to wait. Now we're going to be taught how to defend. So what we need to do is, uh, yes, this sentry looks tough. You better defend yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get some defensive batteries on the defensive slots here and complete our defensive circuit. And then we'll be able to absorb damage that the enemy deals to us.
And there you go, the attack has failed. Pretty awesome. Good, the sentry's attack failed to break through your defense. Now it's time to fight back. Yes, it is. All right, so let's hope that I actually get some attack. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now we are ready to attack. Obviously, you can't attack on the same turn as far as I'm aware. You have to wait until the next turn once you've already completed your circuit to be able to do that. And I think we can attack now. I don't know whether you've noticed, but basically everything Franklin says has to do with food. So you're gonna get a battering, you're gonna get a battering because, you know, fish and chips and all that wonderful stuff. Anyway, there we go. We can go back to the world map now. And as you can see, we've conquered the Prologue Arena with actually pretty decent amount. And 1,510 has been donated to the Colonel. 13 overkill inflicted. And the tournament has been completed. Oh no, I can't be insane. I don't want to go to the arenas, whatever they are. Who was that sparky robot? What's its function? I'm glad it's gone. Let yourself get captured or they'll destroy you right here. I guess it's not a good news dispenser. No, certainly not. A chef who wanted stardom now uses its cooking knives for survival. That is Franklin. And we've unlocked Tournament 1. And there are six new augments. We've also unlocked local and online multiplayer. So if you're also interested in playing multiplayer, then you can do that. And if you're interested in this game, there is a link in the description. Anyway, let's uh, let's actually progress. He has no arch enemy at the moment. I don't exactly know whether he can get one, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's the premise of the game. Insane robots fighting each other. I am the Colonel, controller of the world. A robot, you are accused of a memory malfunction. Malfunction equals insanity. Insane robots cannot work to provide an ideal world for humans. An insane robot can only serve by providing entertainment fighting in the arenas. If you win all your tournaments, I will see you again on the winner's podium. I don't, know, wanna, I, I don't wanna know what happens if I lose here. Yes, bad things. Bad things. All right, so we're now in the jungle, and it has technically no obstacles, but a lot of enemies. All right, so let's uh, let's end our turn here. And as you can see, everyone else is moving around as well, and they are doing their best to get powerful as much as they can. Ah, a Vendomatic and it's still intact. Good afternoon, combat unit. Please select an item to purchase, then return to combat. Right, so we can either purchase a repair kit or parts. I'm actually just gonna walk away here. Don't think I really need anything. It says nothing as you leave. Rude. Yes, very rude. Anyway, let's see if we can do some damage to one of these guys. Ah, it seems like he's attacking us. Okay, he's obviously very confident. All right, so we can now mulligan a couple of things here. I think I'm actually going to mulligan here. I want to attack pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. We got lucky. We got lucky. All right, so I'm going to try and attack as fast as possible. He's going to go for defense first. I don't know how I really think that... I don't think that's too good, to be honest. But anyway, as you can see here, there are the different slots that you're going to be able to insert batteries into and various other things like, for example, boost slots and uh, then, you know, other things as well as augments and everything like that. Okay, so you can also activate help mode by clicking here. I, I don't really need to turn on that, but yeah, click here to taunt your enemy. Ah, turn off help mode. Okay, so that's greeting. You're about to get kippered. Yes. Okay, well, anyway, let's uh, let's place one of these on here. And I can technically place another one on here, can't I? So the attack is now complete, so technically I can attack. But as you can see, it requires three energy or turn points or whatever they're called. But anyway, we are hopefully... Oh no, he's hacking us. Yeah, so there are things in this game called hacks and indeed augments as well, which will affect gameplay in a variety of different ways. Now you can see here that this guy, he obviously hacked me and made it so that my attack dealt one less damage. Now, of course, there are stronger hacks, weaker hacks, and so on and so forth, and uh, you're going to be f finding a couple of things. So, yeah, you can even reduce reduce, reduce health and, and things like that as time goes on. And you can see here that we have survivors on along the right side here. So it's basically, it's almost like a battle royale in a sort of 
a sort of kind of uh, loose aspect to it, I suppose. Anyway, let's go over here. This is another Vendomatic. Uh, if you squint, they look like parts. Something that might be useful. How about that? Thinking something inside this machine might be useful, you put some money in. Lo and behold, by some miracle, it actually is a relatively useful standard repair kit. Well, thanks. That's kind of useful, I guess. And uh, let's see what I... Oh dear, I have a bad feeling that the big one's going to win. Yes, the big one won that quite easily. Alright, so let's head over here. Lucrative remains of a surveillance drone, and we gained another 50 bolts. Now this guy's going to be hunting us down. He's, 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 he's being a bit sneaky. He's being a bit sneaky because he's going over there and trying to get a whole bunch of power-ups and things. That is a repair station as far as I'm aware. Yeah, you can see that. He's going over and uh, we might as well go over here even though I don't, I don't exactly need to enter the shop, but maybe it would be an idea. So as you can see, these are the augments that you're able to purchase. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money right now, but I could technically get this. And I think I might do that. Increase your maximum health capacity by one. Why not? Let's do it. So we now have 11 health instead of, well, 10. So I, I guess that's all right. All right, so let's uh, let's see whether he's going to... Okay, so we do have a couple of endomatics here, but I'm just going to attack him. And we'll see how we do. Caution, this robot is reversing. Ah, yes, of course. Okay, so... Hmm... Bit worrying here. I think I'm going to just mulligan the attack and see if I can get a higher... Hmm, okay. We're going to have to go on the defense here. Okay, so we have a swap token now, and you can drop this on a robot slot to swap fuel with the same slot on the other robot. Only works if both slots are occupied. So in other words, the energy from these batteries, they can be swapped around. Anyway, let's uh, place one on here, and we'll go to the next turn. We're going to go defense first, not something I really want to do, but you can see, yeah. And you can also combine, you can also combine batteries and things like that, so you got to be a bit wary of it. Okay, I'm going to just do this. Our defense is now complete. And we're going to also activate one of our attack circuits as well. Yeah, now, as you can see, there you go. He actually used swap. And he has now swapped the energy in his battery for ours. So we now have seven defense instead of ten. Now, technically... I don't really see the necessity to really worry about that right now because 7 defense is perfectly fine and we're going to have our attack way, way in advance ahead of his and uh, I think we're going to be doing pretty well. Ah, we got a hack token now. So we can drop this on an occupied enemy robot slot to decrease it or your robot slot to increase it. The fuel, the more fuel in the token, the bigger the effect. So technically I could place this here and I could improve our defense and I think I'm probably going to do that. Why not? Alright, so next turn we are going to attack. I hope you brought a hard hat and high viz. Yes, well, it's not really going to make any difference, is it? Because I'm going to absolutely destroy him. Once, uh, once we can. Once it's our turn. And then for one, you can combine tokens of the same color to make new ones with increased fuel. So, well, I, I can't actually do that right now, but... I kind of want to win this, but uh, yeah, you can technically do that if you so desire, and you can increase the amount of fuel that each battery will have. Alright, there you go. Done. You have conquered the jungle arena. And we have another award there. And uh, I... What's this? Move across water. Huh. I, I don't really need that, because the tournament is complete, so I guess we can just head on through. You made it through. Good job. I noticed that... You again. Who are you? You're the one who messed up my memory. Whoa, hold your horse bots. I'm the Spark. I'm here to help you survive. You have to beat the arenas and reach the winner's podium. Everything depends on that. Let me guess. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Oh no, no. It's much more important than that. Apparently. Anyway, as you can see, we have now unlocked another robot named Kitty, previously a robotic pet designed for companionship. Its creative mind landed it in the arenas. Now it uses its creativity to survive, and as you can see, it has camouflage as its trait. And we've also unlocked an arena. Cold and inhospitable, the tundra is said to be inhabited by otherworldly entities. You will need your wits about you. And we've unlocked Tournament 2. 
and we have eight new augments available. We've also unlocked quick battle mode. All right, so let's go into tournament two, shall we? And uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if we want to go here and choose Kitty. Robot cannot be seen by enemies when in forests or similar in all arenas, and attack tokens gain plus one strength when drawn. That sounds like a pretty, pretty fantastic thing to do. Move further each turn in the map. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. I'm going to choose. I'm actually going to choose the kitty. Why not? Let's see what we can do with it. Thank you for volunteering. You're a hero. Uh, apparently, we're a hero, according to that. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, Sparky, tell me why you raised my memory. Because you asked me to. It's all part of the plan. There's a plan? Tell me the plan. I can only tell you one part of the plan. The, the, the part that says it's important you don't know the rest of the plan yet. I may have no memories, but I hate you more than any robot I've ever met. Yes, okay. So we have fog here, and I can assume that fog is going to reduce our vision range by quite a significant amount. So let's see if we can move along here. We are now invisible, as you can see by our trait being highlighted. Whoa, someone was already... Wow, there's actually quite a few people that have already been taken out. Right, okay. Well, we're not moving very fast, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. We're not very close to any of our quote-unquote friends yet. We're getting quite a few here. Quite a few bolts. Might make sense for us to head over to those other places. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to get into a bit of a battle here, because if we don't, we're going to be maybe a bit underpowered, but I guess we'll see what happens. And uh, do I want to spend 146 on parts? I guess. Why not? Just some parts. It's what you ordered, and the machine dispensed accurately. R right. Oh, cool. Okay, so that actually gave me huge amounts of money, technically. So that was pretty cool. Okay, let's move on. Well, this is, this is kind of interesting because uh, it seems like you can't go over the cracked ice. So you're going to need to find paths through it. Ah, hello there. Okay, so that is one of our other enemy combatants. And let's see if we are able to catch up. Let's do it. All right, so this is a boss bot with an agenda. Oh dear, okay. So in hidden mode, the enemy's tokens are not visible. You also can't see their boosts and locks. Right, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna keep the attack card because I like to attack pretty quickly. Oh dear. We just got a bunch of hacking cards, which is not really something I'm too pleased about, but oh well, never mind. I guess I'm just going to place one of these. Right, so we can't see what they have now, obviously. And technically what I could do is I could literally just play this hack and I could reduce his attack to zero. Pretty fantastic. Let's just hope he doesn't have a swapping card. No, it seems like he doesn't have a swapping card, but he does have... Oh, he does have a swapping card. Ah, oh, great. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? Alright, well, we can complete our attack circuit now, and we can technically hack his defense, which I think I'm going to do. And let's draw something else. Oh, another defense. That's cool. Alright, so next turn we should be able to attack. Well, this is kind of interesting. Okay, so his, de his defense is complete, but that's actually not going to make any difference. Okay, so we have a glitch token. Drop on an um, uh, on an occupied robot slot to completely randomize its value. The more fuel in the token, the better are the odds of a good outcome. All right. Well, I personally don't need that right now, so I'm just going to attack him. And there you go. That is a victory for us. 310 parts, I suppose they are, instead of bolts. And there is one more enemy remaining. I wonder where he is.
Ah, there he is. A deep crevasse blocks your path. As you stand gazing into its depths, you hear something calling out. It's a long way down. Alright, so it requires the rope augment if we want to do this, but we can throw a rock down and see how far it goes. You hear it land a long way down, then it flies back at you. You look down and shine a light. Nothing. Then a sizable chunk of metal flies at your head. It did some damage, but it's actually rather valuable. And we have gained an attack harmony augment. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so can I, uh... Can I put that augment on right now? No, it seems like I can't put that on. Not while we're in the battles, I suppose. Alright, let's do it. A tentacled and highly advanced something seeker. Well, this is this is not good. Okay. We're gonna go for the high high attack build once again. We're gonna try and attack extremely fast. Oh, he's comboing things. I'm a bit worried about that. My attack is now complete very quickly indeed. Oh, what? He literally allowed us to kill him that quickly? Okay, well, who am I to say? Who am I to say? I, uh, I kind of did attack him pretty quickly, so... Yeah, that's exactly why I like attacking really fast, so that you can just get them down extremely, extremely quickly. Anyway, there you go. You've conquered the ice arena, and we gained some more things. Now we can choose the second arena. And the, the reward for the jungle with the fog is 600 in comparison to 350. So I think I'm going to take the fog, even though I'm not a big fan of it, because it does make it very difficult to walk around and everything. Ah, there we go. We gained a little bit of extra, extra parts. Bear in mind that I still have 7 HP. So health is, well, kind of persistent, shall we say. There's a whole bunch of people dying as well. Let's move over here and take out this guy. Alright. Uh, it seems like a pretty creepy robot right there. Okay, so I'm going to just replace this. And we have another hack. That's fine. Okay, so we can now drop energy tokens to gain extra energy. Oh, that's pretty awesome. But right now, I... I, I guess I guess I could do that. That's that's actually pretty awesome because now I can do this, and uh, theoretically I'd be able to probably beat him in the next turn. Ah, uh, unless he, yeah, he's smart. He's a smarter smarter fellow than uh, maybe I gave him credit for. But as you can see, he has already gotten his defenses up. But I can actually hack him to reduce that, which is pretty good. And let's just draw another card. And then we'll see what we can do. Do bear in mind, we need three energy to be able to attack. Ah, there you go. He's, he's trying to sabotage us. He's trying to sabotage us. So hopefully we'll be able to prevent that from happening by just activating this and then uh, not attacking. Because again, I need three energy. So that is not great. Hmm. I guess what I'll have to do is maybe just give ourselves a little bit of extra battery life for our defense, just in case. Ah, yes, now he's swapping. This is where more of the strategy comes in. Right, so we do now have the opportunity to potentially attack. But I think I'm going to swap. And then we're going to attack. He has... Mm, he's going to survive by one, which is kind of annoying. But why not? I mean, that's good enough, because it is going to mean that we will be able to hopefully gain one of his attack batteries next turn, and he is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage to us. So we have 3 HP remaining, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We really just need to... Hmm, maybe we can swap this. Can we, can we swap that? No, apparently not, because we don't have one ourselves. Okay, so we've got a lock now, so we can technically lock something in here if we wanted to. Hmm, okay. Now, what is, what is this up here? I don't exactly know what that does. Wait, let's have a look. Flee from the battle for a thousand. Oh, wow. Okay, no, I'm not, I don't particularly want to do that. Thank you very much. 
Okay, ah, drop on your boost slot to increase your attack and defense strength during an attack. Increases your defense even without a complete defense circuit. That's actually pretty nice, so I'm gonna actually use that. Let's draw some more cards. If he gets another attack card, I think we will probably almost certainly die, we'll see. Right, so the attack is now complete, but <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do anything really much until next turn. So he might very well be able to kill us here. Nope, he's not able to kill us. Alright, well that is game over. For him, that is. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Wow, that was a lot of that was a lot of cash right there. Certainly a lot of cash. All right. So this is where it gets much much more difficult because I only have 3 HP remaining. We're going to have to play much more defense than I would like to, but that's how it goes. That's how it goes. We just need to do that. So we can get that. Wonder whether I can get to a shop. Getting to a shop would be extremely advantageous for us now. Kind of worried about that though because ah there's a shop yes excellent it's actually coming in handy to be a robot that actually has a little bit of camouflage i guess all right so we can actually refill here instantly refill your health by one health point is that it that's not very good ah we can do it multiple times okay that's pretty awesome instantly refill your health to 10 health points uh, okay i guess i'm just going to do a couple more just to seven and then we're going to equip this and uh, that doubles attack strength when the two fuel cells are the same value. That's pretty awesome. All right, can I sell anything? I can sell. I can sell attack plus one, which is what I have on right now. Hmm. I actually much prefer that to be honest than the attack harmony. Doubles attack strength though. Doubles attack? Oh, that's that's just too good, isn't it? That's just too good to pass up, so I, I suppose I'll just use that. And is there anything else that I want to get here, to be honest? Max augment slots plus one. That would be pretty good, so I guess we'll buy that. And then I could maybe use the other one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That is really nice. And is there anything else I want to go for here? I guess I'll just heal myself a little bit, and that's it. There you go. We still have 1,100 remaining, so I think that's kind of nice. That was really good for us to actually find that shop. And now I know exactly where the enemy is. So we'll be able to head over there and hopefully take him out, maybe before he gets to a shop. It seems like he's moved the other way. There he is. Ah, he got to a shop, so he's definitely full HP right now. He's definitely going to be full HP. I, I'm, I'm almost certain. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so he has seven HP, right? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just swap everything, and we'll just go for what we, what I think I can get. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some better batteries. Is he going for the attack? No, it seems not. Right. Okay. Well, let's just place these two. Oh wow. Did you see that? Did you see what he just did right there? Okay, so he almost doubled our attack. And obviously I can assume that that was completely not on purpose. But anyway, we're going to kill him. <laughs> he's uh, he's not gone for defense at all, so he dies. Easy. Very easy. And we've conquered the jungle arena. And uh, I don't really need to buy anything, I don't think. I mean, lucky attack, what's this? Increases the probability of drawing attack tokens. That might be nice. So I'm going to buy that. And then we're going to leave. There we go. Are you still here? Tell me why we have a plan. Because we're the resistance. We have to end the tyrannical rule of the colonel. The colonel? I met him earlier. He was a jerk. How many robots are in the resistance? Three, including us. I'm recruiting more, but it's not easy. They keep getting smashed to scrap in the arenas. You really know how to get a robot's spirits up. 
Yes, certainly. And we have now unlocked Monty, once a mere maintenance droid, an accident turned it into a self-aware combat unit, ready to fight in any environment. And it, as you can see here, has a whirlwind power. I don't exactly know what that is. But otherwise, we've also unlocked the Desert Arena. And Tournament 3, and 17 new augments. So you can see that it's absolutely... There's just so much that you can do. Really so much that you can do here. And uh, with that, if you'd like to see more, let me know. This is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.